So now we're going to do finance, which is just question eight. So the first one says ABC traders purchase a truck for 500,000 Rand. So we see the fact that it purchased a truck for 5,000, 5,000 Rand. And they say the truck depreciates. So we see the fact that the truck is going to depreciate at 0.8% per annum with reducing balance. Then they say determine the value of the truck after 12 years. So depreciation notes is that when you depreciating something right using reducing balance what you need to use you need to use the compound interest the compound formula which is this right so knowing that for 8.1 right so we need to find what we need to find a so our p is going to be what it's going to be the 500,000 right and i for this case is going to be 0, 0,8 percent then for how many years for 12 years so let's substitute this is going to be a is equals to then what you're going to do you're going to punch this into the calculator and you're going to get so this is how much the uh, truck is going to be worth after 12 years so here for interest i divided by a hundred to get 0 0.085 so we're done with the first question so 8.2 says sipo takes out the loan to pay for his new car he repays the loan by means of monthly uh payments of 3300 right for a period of five years so we know the fact that his monthly installments which is going to be represented by x is equals to what is equals to 3300 right then again they tell us the fact that this is a loan so what do we need to know we need to know the fact that we're going to use the present value which is the formula is this and we know that the monthly installment which is represented by x is 3300 so again what do we know the fact that the period of the loan is how many years it's five years so n is equals to five then they say that the payments start one month after right after the other uh, loan is granted then they say the interest rate is 16% compounded monthly. So if it's compounded monthly, we need to divide by what? We need to divide the interest by, by 12. So 6% divided by 12. And we need to multiply the years by what? By 12. Because it's compounded monthly. Monthly means 12. So this is the information that we've granted. So the first question says, calculate the purchase price of the car if SIPO is granted the loan for a full purchase price. So what do we have there? information we have the monthly installment we have the number of years the loan was repaid and we have the interest rate so we need to look for the p which is the purchase price right so p is going to be equals to this formula first i'm going to change this one which is going to be when i punch it into the calculators 1 over 75 so i'm going to use this 1 over 75 for the interest right so what's going to be it's going to be p then i'm going to substitute my x my i and my n right so let's do that this is not n is i made a mistake it's i so let's substitute then if you punch this whole thing into the calculator you're going to get so when you punch it into the calculator this is the value that you're going to get which is going to be right so this is the solution to the first question then 8.2.2 says if the trade in value of the old car is ten thousand, and he decides to use the amount as a deposit determine the new monthly installment so what was our initial purchase price our purchase price was this so for 8.2.2 our purchase price was this right that's the answer that you got from 8.2.1 that was the purchase price so what happens is he paid a deposit of 10,000 because of when he traded in the old car so you're going to take the uh, purchase price might uh, uh, minus it by 10,000 and what you're going to get you're going to get so this is the new loan that he's going to take basically so now what we need to do is we need to find the new monthly installments right for this loan not i get it we looked for the previous question we we're looking for this one we need to look for uh, the monthly installment for this loan so let's do that so it's going to be p is equals to so everything remains the same but now for p we're looking for x right so p is going to be this value then we're going to look for x then i and n is going to remain the same so let's substitute then we're going to divide we're going to take this 175 and multiply it this side so it's going to be we're trying to make x subject of the formula then do not simplify anything just leave it the way it is take this whole thing so we're going to divide both sides by this whole thing so let's do that so this side is going to be divided by this whole thing this whole thing this one the whole thing so it's going to be then divide both sides so this are going to cancel each other therefore making x equals to what equals to this when you punch this into the calculator you're going to get so this is you're going to get the monthly installments are going to be three thousand and fifty six comma 
8.2. So this other new monthly is dormant. 8.2.3 says calculate the savings he will make after he pays the deposit. So to find the savings, right, is basically equals to the one with no deposit minus the one with deposit. So the one with, with no deposit, right, is going to be equals to what? It's going to be equals to N, which is the monthly installment, multiplied by what? It's going to be N multiplied by the monthly installment. Monthly payments or installment, it really doesn't matter, right? So this is the one. So what was the monthly payments when you didn't have deposit? Deposit they gave us as being what three thousand three hundred and n was what n was was what was five multiplied by twelve. So our n here is going to be five multiplied by twelve, right? Then the monthly installment is going to be what is going to be three thousand three hundred, and that's going to give you what that's going to give you this value. And then we're gonna find the one with deposit. So the one with deposit is going to be the deposit, right? Plus what plus the in multiplied by what the monthly payments or monthly installment in our case the one with the monthly installment what did we get we get the fact that here we calculated the monthly installments with deposit which was three thousand and fifty six comma eight one right so that's going to be the monthly payments so the deposit was ten thousand plus n is going to be what is going to be five multiplied by twelve multiplied by the monthly payments which is and when you punch that into the calculator you're going to get so this is what you're going to get right so now you're going to take this one minus this one to get the saving so saving going to be equals to this one minus this one therefore your savings is going to be four thousand five hundred and ninety eight then you're done with finance